G'day guys, Dave from West Oz RC here again and welcome to this Urgent EXP diff update. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that I found after I put it all back together. I took it out for a run for five minutes and this happened. <laughs> wow. Oh. Well, let's have a look what's happened. Oh no, what the hell? The disc gone? Oh, no way. So when I got it home, I pulled it apart and I found that the rear diff was just not engaging at all. The sun gears had worn a little bit and the planetaries were just spinning on the on the top like that, just, just not even engaging. So I thought, what's going on here? So I had a look at the difference between the uh, standard cups and the Vitavons and the first thing I noticed was the depth of them are a little bit different. So if you have a look at the depth of this um, standard one, I'll show you right here, looking at 17.04, and then we're looking at the depth of the Vitavons. Nearly 17.4 guys, so we're looking, we're talking 0.4 of a millimeter deeper than the standard ones. What I also noticed is the inside diameter of these cups is around 6.6, The standards are 5.94. And the actual drive cups are 5.9. So when you get a 5.9 drive going into a 6.05 hole, look at the slop in there that you're going to get. And the ceiling is just, it's just not great. So now this is the center diff. Um, what I've had to do was, I'm going to show you, I'll put it all back together. Now to get that movement out of it i've had to get to I, I got another pack of shims uh from my hobby shop um hobby tech toys thanks very much guys over there um ara311094 and these are the open diff shims i'm not using the open open parts i'm just using these diff uh these shims on the inside here so what i had to do to get rid of that um sloppiness i have put Two of the large ones and two of the small ones in there. Two large, two small. You can see the pins in there now and it spins quite freely. It's not, it's not, it's, it's a bit tight, but look at this. It's not, it's got no movement at all. Look at that, that is perfect. Now, before I get onto the whole diff, I'm gonna show you what I did with the rear diff. I grabbed these 13 by 6 by 0.2. These are the Armour ARA709031. Now these are the shims that you use for the, the shimming the diff in the drive. So I used these ones here. So I bought a pack of those. Now they come in a pack of eight. So the rear diff. Now remember guys, I'm not gonna repeat this. I'm, you can guys can go back and forth and see and review this. So I went with a 13 by 16 first, locking diff plate, another locking plate. And then I grabbed another one of these shims. I put that on the inside of that um, sun gear, on the back of the sun gear. And I put the rotating plate on the back of that. So I got 0.2 and that fits in there real nice and snug still with, with the shim in there, you can see. Um, not sure if I can zoom in on there. Let me see if I can zoom in there. So you can see the shims in there and the roll the roller plate is at the back and it's still engaging on the, on the sun gear. And I just dropped that straight in there like that found the pin and voila like that. So now what's happened is that sun gear has raised up 0.4 of a millimeter. I did exactly the same on the 
crown gear side. So I went one of those shims, the, lo the locking plate, another locking plate, the other sun gear. I grabbed another one of those shims, put the shim underneath the sun gear, put the locking plate on the sun gear, and that shims it 0.4 on the other side. So you're pushing the sun gears into the planetary gears because that is what you need for a tight mesh. Now, this is my first experience with the EXB uh, limited slip diff. So I'm, I'm still learning this, guys. You can try this if you want. I'm just giving this a go. I'll give you a full report. I'm, I'm completely transparent with all my stuff. I don't tell you something's great when it's crap. Um, I, I, I honestly tell you that I had problems with it and I'm here to fix it. I'm, I'm here to share this information with you. Whether you take it or not, it's up to you guys. So um, that is the way I shimmed those for the rear. In the center, it's totally different. It was completely different on the inside. So I pull those out, I take out the 13 by 16, I push that to the side. I also take out the other shim that I put in there, take that out, put that there. And I've got another one here somewhere and it is right there. Okay, so I know I've got four over there now. So. With the center, I did that like I just showed you, two of these large shims, two of those large shims, and two of the smaller shims, right? The two large shims, they will sit under the locking plate and they will push that locking plate off the back of the cup. So that's gonna give you your point four um, off, off the back of the cup because these are 0.2. So I'm gonna start putting these together now. So this is how I'm gonna run this. This is a full limited slip. So I'm running the locking plate. I'm now putting the spinning plate in, rolled edge up, because I've gone through all this in my last video. I'm not gonna go through this again. Uh, roll plate up. So there we've got our plates like that. Now I'm gonna put my sun gear on there. There we go. Next thing is, I'm gonna do the planetaries. The planetaries are in and I can feel when I spin that around, it's really positive. Next is I put the grub screw in. So I put some decent amount of Loctite on there because this has got to seal the oil in the diff. So next thing we're gonna do is gonna put another set of 200 in there. Okay guys, so for the spur gear side, I just went with three of the large ones and the pin goes in relatively easy it actually goes in real easy without without having to force it in it spins nice and really easy also and there's no slop on it it's really tight on there and that's going to give me another 0.4 on this side so when i put the sun gear on this side and all the lsd plates it's gonna be such a nice tight mesh into those planetary gears that they're never ever gonna slip. And I reckon that that is an absolute bulletproof um, repair on these, these Vitavons. This, this, is, this is only for these Vitavons, guys. For the um, standard ones, just shim and see how you go yourselves. Um, I would just get a packet of these and these are, remember, 0.2 and these are 0.3, so you can muck around with finding the best setting for yours. And when you find, I put it in dry first. I don't do um, the oil at all. I put them in dry, and I, I see how they spin with no oil whatsoever inside. And if I can feel that it's got a really nice feel, I know that those teeth are meshing really well within the, the sun gear and the planetary gears. Okay guys, so that's been about five minutes. You can see the oil is sitting there nicely. It's about three millimeters from the top. I'm gonna to throw my sun gear in there now. Locking plate, spinning plate, locking plate. We're using our three shimmed end. And let's pop that straight on there. I've gone back to the short bolts. All right, that's nice and tight because these were a little bit loose when I went to take them out today. So just wipe off the excess 
and that diff guys is ready to go back in that is awesome damn that feels really tight real nice i'm going to give a full report on these and see how these run and yeah i reckon that that is going to be an absolute treat so this is the front diff guys i've pulled it out look at the look at movement in that drive cup look at that the crown gear side isn't too bad i guess i'm just going to shim that up now when i was turning it and it just locks up it just doesn't feel right um i pulled it apart let's have a look look at that it's still fresh <laughs> oh, dearie me right so i'm gonna try and get this shimmed up as best as i can i'm gonna try two large and just one smaller one and then drop the pin straight into it now that was pretty easy that went in pretty easy let's see the sloppiness and any any back and forth motion i'm going to try another smaller shim on the top of that one let's see how this one goes well that's spinning around real easy hardly any resistance there but look at that slop taken up look at that look how tight that is now that is fantastic that's okay guys so the shim plates are all in the limited slip diff is at maximum effect planetaries are in i'm going to check and see what i'm going to need to do with this side i'm thinking an extra one large one to take up the slack on the inside of the drive cup that seems pretty good just needed one extra one and that feels really good on there that spins around nicely and look at the take up on the sloppiness there that's really good so that's going to make it a bit closer to the planetary gears that's going to push the sun gear up another 0.3 and 0.4 on the inside so i think that's going to work out really really well next is the oil so there's the oil in there guys it's all done sun gear maximum effect on this diff rolled edge in locking plate rolled edge in spinning plate rolled edge in on the locked plate on the final locked plate just wiping the excess remember try not to get any oil in these holes guys it's really important once the oil gets in there the loctite is going to have a real hard time locking up actually it's not going to lock up at all so line up the slots with the holes Drop that in there. Lock tight our screws. Just go all the way around the diff. Make sure they're nice and tight, guys. Last thing you want is these nuts, these bolts coming off. And there we go. That feels really good. Spinning that. You can actually feel the limited slip working. You can feel the resistance because when you turn both of them, it's pretty easy. And then when you hold the actual cup and you spin one, you can feel the resistance in the in the diff. That's going to make a huge difference. Thanks for the views, guys. Subscribe, like, and share if you guys know anyone that could do with this information. And I really appreciate um, the views. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next one.